Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be going over um, lifting for functionality. So if you don't know what that means, basically you get a lot of people online uh, within the gym, within the fitness community who talk about lifting for functionality and doing exercises and doing things which are functional and going to help you day to day. Uh, I'm just going to give my opinion on this and why certain parts of it are wrong and why you don't need to bother about training for functionality in certain scenarios and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I hope you like the video. If you've got any questions at the end, please feel free to leave any comments. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to go over are people who say things like compound movements are more functional. Now you get a lot of people um, in fitness space, especially in places like your Instagram comments, who say your compound movements are more functional. Um, this isn't the case uh, because... For example, number one, you're not doing those movements in everyday life anyway. You get a lot of people who say, oh, deadlifts are functional because if you need to pick something up, um, you're gonna be it's gonna be more functional for that. However, if you're someone who's pulling above 100 kilos, which I think the majority of gym lifters do, you're never gonna have to do that in real life. You it, probably have an office job, um, a normal job you're not going to need to lift anything which is over 100 kilos and even if you do it's going to be a lot more um, different because you've got a bar in the gym when you're lifting a physical object you're going to be having to hold it in different ways so yes there is an argument that it could help strengthen you for um, those uh, movements when you are doing things everyday life however you shouldn't base your training around that you shouldn't be going I'm going to deadlift to get stronger for when I need to lift a couch up to move it around the room or something. You shouldn't be basing your workouts around that. Um, so yeah, that's point one, um, just compound lifts really and stuff like that. How you don't need to be training compound lifts just for functionality for everyday life. And now point number two kind of intertwines with the first one. And um, you get a lot of people saying, um, if you're not doing compound movements, and you're not doing free weights, you're not training the small, intricate, um, stabilizer muscles within your body. This is not true, once again. Um, just because you're doing a deadlift, yes, deadlift, squats, bench, stuff like that, are compound movements, so you're using multiple muscles at once. Just because you've gone from doing um, a bench press to now doing a chest press machine, that doesn't mean your stabilizer muscles and your little muscles um, that support your shoulder joints and stuff like that and your ligaments it doesn't mean you're not training them they've somehow magically now switched off and they're not being used unless you're doing bench press um, it's false uh, so obviously when you are doing things like compound movements like squats and deadlifts you are using more muscles but you're not training your stabilizer muscles when you're doing compounds and then they're going to magically turn off when you're not doing compounds or you're doing smaller movements so again don't be listening to that advice and don't think you need to do squats and you need to do deadlifts because it's training your stabilizer muscles because it isn't you're going to be training your muscles just effective just as effectively um as you will be with uh, free weights with machines and so on so that's point number two so time to point number one again and uh, in terms of exercises that are functional and um, if you are someone who's wanting to do functional exercises um you need to kind of think about your goals and what your uh, your function will be considered functional exercises are so if you're wanting to be functional throughout day to day it will be doing stuff like step ups you know going up steps and um, repeating that motion of things you're actually going to be doing in day to day life now that might be helpful for someone who actually you're older people people who are quite overweight who struggle to kind of move normally and freely throughout the day so that would be a functional exercise to help them throughout the day um, and then you've also got other stuff um, like working on your balance your core strength stuff like that which would be considered functional exercises which are going to help you throughout the day however same again um, doing a big exercise like a deadlift shouldn't be considered a functional exercise because you're not going to be doing those things all the time throughout the day lifting and then even if you are it's not going to be really heavy loads like you're doing within the gym so just to recap that video off there obviously quite a short one um, you don't have to be doing exercises based on if they are functional or not. 
Um, so when you are training, free weights, barbells, dumbbells, machines, all just as good as each other. You're not going to be switching off your stabilizer muscles when you're doing machines as opposed to doing barbell work. So don't be worrying about that. Um, if anything, they would be more better depending on your goals. Obviously, if you wanted to build muscle, stability is your friend. And if you are in a machine, you are more stable. Therefore, you can exert more force into the muscle you're trying to target and grow. So, um, yeah, wouldn't be worrying about doing stuff with functionality, stuff like that. Um, however, I would say if you are wanting to be functional, obviously, I've already gone over some exercises which people might benefit from, like step-ups and stuff like that. However, you've got deadlifts would probably be the one functional exercise um, only because of how many muscles it does train um, obviously with it being a compound and the movement you're doing deadlifts will help you to get used to picking things up with correct form um, so obviously you bend at the knees back straight lift up with the legs rather than kind of bending hunching forward to pick a box up something like that however again when you're all in those situations in life where you're having to pick something up it's never going to be above 100 kilos unless you're specifically training for world's strongest man which is that then you're going to consider that um uh, functionality so yeah uh, those are all the points i wanted to go over really so i uh, hope you enjoyed the video again if you've got any questions you want to leave in the comments feel free to do so if you think i've missed anything in terms of functionality uh, or anything you want to tell me that um, again I've not mentioned uh, please do so uh, and if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you for watching and goodbye